To cut down an undying being while on the path of immortal ascension, just what kind of boldness was this? It made everyone tremble. The sky dome shook intensely, as if this shaking extended all the way into the heavens above, shaking up this entire realm. Imperial Pass, on the city walls, many people were watching this battle through a bone lens. When they saw this scene, they were all shaken, filled with emotions. Meng Tianzheng was going to die in the end. However, before his death, he declared that he was going to kill the undying being, doing this to make up for his regret, but it was obviously to protect Imperial Pass as well, to make one final contribution. Kill. In the heavens above, an intense great battle erupted. After Meng Tianjing's two bodies merged, he rushed out, raising his fists and smashing them over. The mortal ascension light surged, magical force unmatched, exceptionally powerful, not much different from immortal Tao creatures. It was just a single fist, yet it forced the undying being back in retreat. They all revealed expressions of shock. How could this be? The undying being was shocked. This individual before him was too strange. There was definitely something wrong. Could it be that he really achieved immortality through a different method? Meng Tianzheng condensed a fist imprint, quickly rushing over, each fist more vicious than the last, striking the heavens until even stars trembled. This entire star domain was engulfed under the cover of his fist radiance. Under the pong pong sounds, in the depths of the distant star domain, stars exploded one after another. Right now, endless brilliance erupted. Meng Tianzheng was valiant beyond compare. His body was shining, resembling a black hole devouring the power of those blazing great stars. Moreover, the light that was released from the stars that exploded all gathering towards him as well, used by him. His fists shone, smashing ferociously at the undying existences. Under the intense attacks and great rumbling noises, Meng Tianjing's fist strength was incomparable, continuously smashing over. His fists were both dripping with blood, blood also falling from the corners of his mouth. Meanwhile, during this process, the undying being also felt restraining fear. He was injured, with a wah sound, a mouthful of undying true blood sprayed out, immediately destroying a large area of the starry sky. As for Ming Tianzheng, blood continuously trickled out from the corners of his lips, but he looked like he would never tire, not fearing injures at all, just continuing his ferocious attacks. Kill. The undying being was furious, his head of silver hair flying about. His body shone as if the silvery white radiance was burning. He formed magical imprints, displaying a type of terrifying ancestral method. An expanse of undying light erupted from his hand, engulfing Ming Tianzheng. Where Ming Tianzheng was, Yin and Yang energy swirled, actually able to break down and neutralize those undying symbols, stop the ancestral technique. His broken bow reappeared. It was no longer in the form of a bow, but rather two curved moon blades, exceptionally sharp. Just like Meng Tianzheng, they carried a mortal light, brilliant to the point where they couldn't be looked directly at. A crescent blade flew out, hacking through heaven and earth, immediately cutting through this entire starry sky. Chaotic energy surged, with a PU sound. While carrying great Tao natural laws, it actually struck the undying being, drawing forth a large expanse of blood. The undying being was entirely silvery white. He was truly stunned. At the same time, rage surged within him. His body was actually cut open. Just now, he wanted to try to break this blade, because he already saw that this weapon carried Meng Tianjing's Dao Fruit Aura, so it definitely nurtured his divine core magical incarnation and others. Once this weapon was crushed, it would most likely trigger a powerful backlash to his opponent, because this was a weapon that was fostered together with one's life. However, that weapon seemed to be nurtured by immortal energy, also undergoing a transformation, suspected to now be an immortal Dao magical artifact. The undying being's attempt failed, his arm instead being cut into, blood dripping out. On Imperial Pass city walls, everyone was shocked. He really cut through an undying being? This was like a legend among legends. Patterns appeared on the undying being's body, one after another. These were Tao laws, as well as the endless potential he released along with his undying power. The so-called undying existence represented a harmony between body and Tao. At this level, there was no need to deliberately display a type of technique, because the great Tao had already fused together with them. Sometimes, just a simple clash of physical strength already represented a type of great method. Right now, the undying being was gathering his power, ancestral technique patterns distributed throughout his body, divine ability, natural laws appearing. It was as if a formation was carved on his body. 
He slaughtered his way over, eyes deep like small suns. He wanted to quickly kill Meng Tianzhe. However, Meng Tianzhang was also completely different, immortal light erupting from within him. Gates were opened one after another, the power released incomparable, as if a true immortal who had cultivated for many years was descending into this world. Why? The undying being was confused. Even if the other side really was extraordinary, there was no way someone who achieved immortality through a different way should have this type of power, right? Meng Tianjing erupted with power. The gates within his body became the source of power. He activated the two curved moon blades, releasing hazy immortal light, hacking forward. This was his past will, as well as his regret. He failed within sight of success along the body as a seed path, eventually sealing the divine core. That was his Tao fruit, as well as part of his flesh and spirit that had been cut off. He was still walking down this path. Now, both bodies merged into one precisely for the sake of breaking through, to display the most powerful attack. Unfortunately, making the divine core appear ahead of time, and thus cutting off his future path, also made the Tao fruit suffer damage. There was still going to be a rebound later. This a path of no return? This was especially the case when he had just experienced a bloody battle, continuously killing supreme beings, missing the best chance to recover. Now, there was no way of going back. Great Tao collided. Meng Tianzhong was struck flying, blood splashing outwards. He was seriously injured, but the undying being's blood also splashed outwards. He was cut by the two curved blades, flesh becoming badly mangled. Body is the seed. The undying existence stared at Meng Tianzhong, looking at the shining gates within his body. He recalled some legends, revealing a shocked expression. His face became more and more serious. You will not be left alive. He released a shout, slaughtering his way over again. Both sides fought intensely. No one expected Meng Tianzhong to be this powerful, truly daring to face an undying being. Even if he fell in battle, this would be a defeat filled with glory. Meng Tianjing's body was pierced through, blood dyeing the skies. He flew outwards. Even though the undying being was also losing blood, the injuries weren't that bad. He chased after Meng Tianjing, preparing to deal the fatal blow in this battle. However, at this moment, something terrifying happened. Shocking lightning descended, wave upon wave, immortal light resplendent, immediately submerging this starry sky, vast and boundless. Meng Tianzhong was currently being submerged under immortal Tao lightning. He really is going to achieve immortality. The undying being was alarmed. He backed up a few steps, not immediately rushing in, because he was scared of provoking the most terrifying immortal Tao lightning tribulation. The so-called different path to immortality was precisely becoming an immortal without experiencing a baptism of lightning, the trial of the heavens, yet still had the strength of a true immortal. However, this type of existence only existed in legends, not many of them from past until now. It was because once one's strength crossed a certain line, they had to face tribulation, endure the trial. Those who failed would die. This was impossible, unless it was someone who was an extremely special case, due to various reasons unable to achieve immortality, stuck in a special level. However, there weren't many of these individuals throughout history, all of them pseudo-immortals. Now, Meng Tianzhong was no longer in this type of state, forced out of this domain after all, starting to face tribulation. On Imperial Pass city walls, everyone was shocked. Was he really going to achieve immortality? Soon afterwards, a wave of black mist spread, descending from the highest point of the sky dome, covering great stars, surrounding the heavens, everything seemingly losing life force. What was going on? Everyone was stupefied. Wasn't he facing a mortal tribulation? Why was there this type of ominous scene that appeared? Ascending to immortality represented the highest glory. It was divine, auspicious. However, right now, why did this type of deathly still, extremely strange scene appear? The heavenly tribulation was still there, still releasing great noises but this black mist was also spreading, reaching downwards. On Imperial Pass city walls, Sherhao's body went cold. He developed an extremely bad feeling, recalling some things from the past. He thought of two people, Yi Qianyu and Imo Wudao. These two had both almost crossed into the immortal Dao domain, leaving behind legends. However, in the end, they both died. Back then, during the 3,000 provinces struggle, when he entered immortal ancient remains, Sure how had captured the divine medicine void sky divine vine, learning about someone named Yi Chinyu from it, even seeing some imprint fragments through the void sky divine vine. In a certain era, 
Yi Chinyu had encountered this type of thing after crossing tribulation, in the end devoured by the darkness. Now, this type of thing happened to Ming Tianjing, leaving Shi Hao horrified. No. He roared out, really wishing to rush into outer space, warned Great Elder to be careful, that he had to make it through. The Mortal Academy's Elder grabbed him, not letting him leave Imperial Pass. In reality, the distance was too great, there was no way he would make it in time. Moreover, there was an undying being, so he definitely wouldn't be allowed close. The mortal Dao lightning hacked down, immortal light terrifying to the extreme. Only, that black mist was also descending. It still came in the end. Meng Tianjing sighed. I broke the longbow on my own, Dao fruit revealed ahead of time. But it seems like the conclusion had long been set. The day of immortal ascension will also be the fall of that immortal. He believed that if he wasn't affected, he had confidence he could make it through. Now, there was no chance of living anyway. He only wished to make up for his regret, to step into the immortal Tao domain for an instant, that was already enough. Even if he died afterwards, he wouldn't feel any regret. However, this type of black mist appeared at the crucial moment, the same as the legends. Perhaps there wasn't even a chance for him to achieve immortality. Come, undying being. Meng Tianjing didn't pay what was above him any attention, instead throwing himself at the undying being. At this time, the undying being's expression was strange. He looked at that expanse of black mist, feeling a bit of yearning, but also fear. Expression extremely complicated. D. Meng Tianjing roared out, stirring on endless immortal Tao lightning, rushing over to fight the undying being. At this moment, his aura was powerful beyond compare. As he crossed tribulation, it was as if he experienced another transformation, truly achieving immortal Tao results. The undying creature actually coughed out large mouthfuls of blood from this attack. He didn't have much time left. At the final moments, when he broke into the immortal Tao domain, he heard his own song of burial. Meng Tianzheng advanced courageously, slaughtering his way over towards the undying being. He knew that he didn't have much time left, either going to die with regret or display one last brilliant song. Fighting was the only option. At this time, the world was trembling, the result of a release of immortal Tao power. Undying radiance was surging. A great decisive battle between two great figures unavoidably erupted. They used all of their divine abilities and methods. Apart from this, lightning filled the skies. It was accompanied by divine and auspicious multicolored light, as well as the black mist and inauspiciousness high above. This was contradictory, but they both appeared at the same time. Meng Tianzhang was currently forcefully resisting it, temporarily ignoring it. Kill. Whether it would be everlasting brilliance, falling in glory, or if it would be a mournful passing, it would all be revealed in this final battle. Meng Tianzhang condensed a fist imprint, valiant beyond compare. He was like a reincarnated war immortal, head of black hair all shining, carrying golden brilliance. His divine force was unmatched, who knew how many times more powerful than before. His fist directly smashed through this star domain. The fluctuations that were released incomparable. One could see that in this position, under this part of the heavens, groups of stars fell, great stars burning, impossible to evade. That fist seemed like it went through a sheet of paper, passing through the spatial realm wall, arriving before the eyes of an undying being. The divine radiance was immeasurable, illuminating past and present. The undying being's expression changed. Just now, he was already wounded, coughing out blood from the other side's extreme fist radiance. Now, Meng Tianzheng was going all out like this making him feel even more restraining fear. Ancestral techniques appeared in large amounts. He was like an undying blood phoenix reborn through flames. Fiery light overflowed into the heavens, all of it created from great Tao symbols. On his silvery white body, there were large amounts of patterns engraved on it, making him look more and more like a metal existence. A chilly radiance was released, moreover, the radiance gradually becoming harsh to the eyes. Following a muffled strike, the sky dome exploded and the heavens shattered. Primal chaos erupted in this place, as if a great era was coming to a close, heaven and earth as if completely destroyed. This was a clash between the most powerful. In this age, there were already no true immortals to be found, yet existences of this level now appeared. After the two realms were cut off, these two represented the greatest fighting strength. This expanse of the starry skies exploded to pieces, heavens splitting and earth cracking, ghosts crying and deities howling. A rain of blood scattered down. 
this place immediately seeming dismal and bleak. One could see that the groups of stars nearby had long disappeared, crushed by that unmatched fist imprint. There were many star remains that rushed in all directions. This was a catastrophic scene. Their world's shocking blow made the starry sky first become extremely brilliant, and then the burning star remains flew away, this place instead gradually becoming dark, too many stars disappearing. A rain of blood scattered down, the undying being staggered backwards, revealing an expression of shock. He was wounded once again. The other side's fist imprint was too ferocious, too powerful, striking his body until his chi and blood surged, the finger bones of the undying being even almost broke off. Of course, Meng Tianjing on the other side was also bleeding, paying the price. Why are you so strong? The undying being's pupils contracted, eyes becoming more and more terrifying. He had to kill the other side as soon as possible, or else an accident might happen. It was because from the start until now, the other side became harder and harder to deal with, even injuring him difficult. The undying being was extremely serious, not the slightest trace of contempt to be seen. He produced a pure white bone flute, starting to play it. Song of Departed Immortal Souls The instant the flute sound was produced, the undying existence released a shout. These words descended like the blade of heaven's will, immediately increasing this song's power several fold. This was the goal of the demonic tune, the source of his divine will. It was as if gods were crying, also as if true immortals died. Dusk descended, chilly winds swept past, souls departed from all creatures, turning them into living corpses. This tune was too terrifying. Even though they were far away, imperial past creatures still almost exploded to death. Fortunately, at the most crucial point, the immortal formation within imperial past shone. In addition, the Ten Realms diagram, immortal king corpse wrapping cloth, and other things shook, stopping this tune, restoring peace to this place. However, things outside became different. The starry skies were cut into pieces, all of this caused by that song. Meng Tianjing's body trembled, scars appearing on his skin one after another. The demonic tune could not only make one's soul leave their body, it could even sever the flesh, able to destroy both body and spirit. It was impossible for him not to be injured by this attack. The song of departed immortal souls, it rang out in a long and drawn-out manner, shaking up this entire space. One could see many void shadows appear, as if they were living corpses. At the same time, Meng Tianjing's eyes became a bit dim, his soul being summoned, about to leave his body. Suddenly, he released a great shout. The depths of his eyes erupted with great divine radiance, recovering from a type of absent-minded state. Even though his body was being hacked at, blood flowing in long streams, he broke free from the spiritual attack. A pair of curved blades appeared behind Meng Tianjin. They were resplendent, now glistening with brilliance, carrying faint golden radiance. Then, they directly hacked out, like two cold moons as they spun between heaven and earth, releasing a rumbling sound. The undying creature's eyes were resplendent like suns. The flute by his lips shone, demonic ripples rushing out. These were the most terrifying sound waves. The musical notes turned into tangible forms one after another, leaping through the void, all of them carrying undying radiance, condensed from immortal Tao patterns. Ear-piercing sounds erupted, the curved blades smashed into these notes. Sparks flew in all directions, great Tao ripples spread, ripping apart the great cosmos. This was like the reopening of the world, the scene horrifying to the extreme. In the end, the curved blades destroyed the shining great Tao symbols. They were extremely terrifying, smashing into the bone flute, ending this melody. During this process, the distance between the two was shortened. Meng Tianjung charged over murderously again. His arms unfolded, actually turning into two immortal swords, one black, one white. They were different colored, releasing yin and yang, two energies swirling about in a hazy manner. Meng Tianjing's arm turned into a sword shape, releasing terrifying chilling intent. In that instant, the two streaks of sword radiance, separately black and white colors, quickly hacked over. The undying being faced this attack, but as a result, blood spurted out from his body. The terrifying sword radiance hacked through his silvery white body, a large expanse of blood spraying all over the starry sky. The undying creature released a great roar. He was furious. Someone who advanced later, a human who had just entered the immortal Tao domain. How could this kind of person injure him again and again? He felt like this was humiliation. A heavenly spear appeared in his right hand, cold and deep. 
It carried cold energy as it rushed over, as if it was going to freeze this entire part of, of the world. This was the magical artifact of an undying being, as well as what he used to achieve the Tao. It possessed incredible power, now sweeping towards Ming Tianzhi. That shining white blade seemed to be able to reap the lives of all creatures in this world, including immortals. It carried a mysterious power, slaughtering its way over. The black and white sword cores shone, interweaving, rushing over, clashing with this magical artifact. The disturbance was too great, dazzling radiance erupting there. At this time, an expanse of brilliant waves, with this place as the center, surged towards the depths of the cosmos, extremely intimidating. Meng Tianjing's body carried immortal light, facing the endless lightning tribulation above him. All types of gates were released within his body, symbols carved all over his body. These were the profound mysteries of the imperishable scripture, combined with his own unmatched great methods, now pushed to the limit. This was the root of why he dared face that weapon. The imperishable scripture merged with the great Tao, together with the body as the seed. It made his flesh and blood sturdy and unbreakable. Immediately afterwards, his arms merged together, like that of an ancient monk joining his palms, but it definitely wasn't this. This was the merging of sword cores. His arms turned into a black and white immortal sword, now returning to one, becoming a single sword core. Black and white energies merged, becoming inseparable. When Meng Tianjing hacked forward like this, the entire sky dome was cut through, as if two realms were being divided, the scene horrifying to the extreme. A sword cut apart the star domain. This was boundless power, world-shocking strength. After truly stepping foot into the immortal Dao domain, Meng Tianjing's strength indeed increased. This black and white sword core clashed with the heavenly spear until sparks flew in all directions, surging high into the air. At the same time, cold light surged, the two crescent blades cutting towards the undying being. The undying being's body shifted outwards, appearing in another part of the starry skies. At the same time, he activated his ancestral technique, blocking the curved blades, clashing intensely with those two weapons. Meng Tianjing roared out, because there wasn't much time left. He was going all out, using the greatest power. With a chi sound, he rushed forward like a demon, instantly crossing hundreds of thousands of li with a single step, closing the distance in an instant, chasing down his enemy. This time, when his hands merged, attacking with all of his strength, black and white sword cores becoming one. The radiance that was released was world-shocking, nothing they couldn't cut through. Blood radiance immediately splashed in all directions. The undying being was struck, unable to avoid it in time. It was because there was no way of completely evading the attack at all. The sword light was everywhere, streaks upon streaks, drowning out this place. In that instant, the two exchanged hundreds to thousands of attacks. The undying being faced Ming Tianzheng with the heavenly spear. The sword light was like rainbow light. At the final moment, it drew a large expanse of blood, removing the undying being's arm, dyeing the starry skies red. However, at the same time, Meng Tianjing also trembled, staggering backwards, because his body was struck by the immortal Tao lightning above him. A bloody hole opened in his chest. Right now, the tribulation's divine power began to appear. Resisting purely with his body was already extremely exhausting. Moreover, that inauspicious black cloud also descended, approaching his body.